made a lot of mistakes right but this is what i have experienced over the years of what to do and what not to do while working early stage startups i hope that answers yes sir as you said a lot of mistakes do you want to uh, briefly touch upon that ha ha matlab so 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 the thing is right uh, uh, uh there comes uh, so uh, let me let me clarify on that part right uh, sometimes you make mistakes technically sometimes you make mistakes personally right so talking in pure uh, let's let's talk first in pure technical terms right so for example it was part of a startup where we chose the tech stack wrong right uh, you start right when while you are starting you tend to choose a particular tech stack you feel that this is this is the new the best thing new best thing in the market and i should definitely work on this tech stack right but sometime what happens is that when you choose such such kind of tech stack it is difficult to get in- engineers out there in the market right because it's that new so now from that learning uh, we figured out that it is better to choose tech stacks for which you can get engineers easily if you are an early stage right so for example while i was working with orange we decided that we are going to choose no uh, sexy kind of tech stack right we are going to use plain python django let's let's start right let's start let's build this, this build this thing let's try to achieve pmf right and once that is done once the founders understand that this is how the businesses are going to run right we we are we have done the mvp and now everything is sorted is when we will decide how to go into the growth stage right and at that point in time maybe we can rewrite right so that is one learning that i have experienced ke do not start with the wo sexy wala tech stack at all right it is very difficult to get uh, engineers with such kind of experiences right so that is one of the cases right when when it comes to uh, personal experiences right Th- this is technical failures right when it comes to personal experiences a thing that you realize right uh, in 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 the industry itself as well as in life as well right professionally speaking you should never burn down any bridges at all right so what i what i intend to say about that is that let's say you are and and there comes times when you will not be happy about a particular company that you are working on a particular role that you are working on a particular project that you are working on right but it should not reflect in your attitude towards other people right there were uh, times right and i'm not uh, uh, i'm not lying about it let me be very clear about it i'm not lying like i i there were times when i wasn't the best right uh, i was frustrated i i didn't want to work on particular projects at all right never burned down the bridges and the best example i can tell you is that uh, my second company right uh, which was coinex pivoted to flowbiz their product didn't work out and they had to let go of a uh, few people right and fortunately unfortunately i don't know why i say fortunately but unfortunately i was part of it right i uh, today i say fortunately because of the fact that it gave me other options to uh, uh, to explore right so now uh, the so now i i i was a part of that uh, group who had to let go of right that and that to their uh, flagship product right they had to shut down the flagship product but i had cordial but i maintained cordial relationships with our founders at coinix right and due to which like due to which that was my second company now i'm working in the, my fifth company right i am working with the founding team of coinix itself right and and we were fortunate enough that the the, the founders themselves right the coinix founders themselves they helped with the angel investment for this particular company so that's why i say never burn down the bridges everyone like you should have cordial relationships with everyone be patient enough to understand that there will be something good in future if you are just uh, patient enough and hustle hustle enough to understand that there can be something good in future right i hope that answers yes yes it does like and very well put on the technical part definitely it should be about shipping the product fast getting the idea validated and then double down on it not go with the fancy yes. stuff and uh, definitely on the personal side also i completely get it that it should be like good with people and that connection will automatically be made uh, so one more you should be you, should, you actually I'll, i'll clarify that you shouldn't just be good with people you don't actually have to make an effort right yes. if you are genuinely good with people yes, right definitely. people people will come and help you in whatever way they they right. can right? right so just be genuinely good mm. Mm-hmm. yeah correct but please continue yes. so uh, since you have worked in lot of companies definitely you would have seen as you were mentioning mentioning it as well some cultural difference or project, some you did somewhere you didn't like the projects 
some maybe somewhere the environment was very good somewhere it was not good yes. so i'm not asking about where it what how the environment yes. was the culture was but when yes. now when you are working as a founder i will come to the the technical part yes. of the current company as well but when you are founder of a of your current company what were the main learnings that these are the must things that you need to set up in your company mm-hmm. and these are the must mm-hmm. things that you should not have this type of things like must do's and must not do's that you learned from your experience that you implemented in your career and so basically like i'll keep the technical stuff apart right wo people can do right it's 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 not that difficult like i feel anyone can do it just need to be patient enough to see through failures to understand that there is there is something good that that we're surely going to come right coming to the part that what you should and shouldn't do when starting a company is that when you when you start in an early stage that i'm not talking just in terms of being a founder right i'm talking in terms of being a uh, initial members of of that team right the core team or the initial members of the team right uh the thing is you ha- like because you are an initial person or you are among that team right you have it is your responsibility to define the culture that that will be followed by others who will come after you right so if the culture is great right and there is no amount of toxicity uh, that is tolerated right then surely the next set of people that will come in will appreciate the fact that okay this is not the place where toxicity is tolerated there is no, like you have to give respect to earn respect and the thing is uh, earning respect is through work right nothing else right so w- one of the most important stuff that you should definitely do as a founder or the initial member of the team is to define the culture yourself right and defining the culture implies being disciplined and everything else right and uh, culture culture is a very uh, big thing to say right but so, so you should understand that culture is a, what is the definition of cul- good great culture for you right, right. I, i i'll i'll explain right so for one of the foremost thing that i explained is right you give respect to earn respect and respect is only earned in our industry through your work right the the amount of work that you do like you will get the respect that you deserve right uh also the fact that the one thing that i have realized and i have i have seen over the years is that uh you can learn even from your juniors right so for example we learn from you right uh, and 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 i'm very happy that i'm doing that too. but but the thing is i have learned a lot of things from so for example while i was a lead uh, in in coinex or global right i learned from people who were just interns out of college right i have learned from them and you should be humble enough to understand that you can learn from anyone not just be your juniors in tech you can learn from people in product you can learn from people in operations you should be humble enough to understand that you can learn from an, anyone and everyone right so that culture the, the culture should actually include that right and you should set as an set it as an example right so 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 that others will follow right then there will be the thing that toxicity should not seep in and by toxicity i mean like at at some point in time like every every company will have this politics uh, and everything all of that sort right every company has it like let's 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 be very vocal about it every company has it and eventually like in any company that you will work you will find that you are a part of that politics right just be away from that right even if you knowingly or unknowingly become a part of it be away from it because it will start hampering with your work and then you will you will spend more time with figuring out what to do in that political environment rather than actually focusing in on your work and the thing is just focus on your work focus on the results right and good things will come to you eventually right it might not come to you tomorrow it might not come to you one year down the line but it will come eventually right so for example i talked about uh, the stuff that although i was i was let go from uh, flow biz right uh, uh the business is uh, business wasn't there right uh, it was very difficult business to work on rather than uh, taking it out on founder that how could founders do this you should be mature enough to understand that it's not in the hands of founder right it's the business right if the business does not do good if business not not generating revenue businesses don't run that way right? eventually some some decisions have to be made and you you should be mature enough to understand now because i was mature enough at that point of time to understand this it came 4 years later right when when they helped us with our angel investment so that 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 is what i define as culture right uh, i hope that and it also includes a lot of other stuff but these are the few important things that i feel is very important when when we talk about culture definitely sir 